see if we can get through this. All right, bam, bird requests. Woo. Hey, I got a new tripod. Make sure how this bourbon, Steve. Uh, all right. Woo. Welcome back to another edition of Mash Madness here on Bourbon Quest. So, uh, we're, we're getting towards the very end of the uh, second round. Uh, hopefully you're doing not only uh, Mash Madness with the whiskeys, but you're keeping up with March Madness. There's been some big upsets. Um, I'm filming this on, uh, this will go up on Sunday. I'm filming it Saturday night. So, uh, my Tennessee Vols, uh, I should have worn my orange today. But anyways, uh, I'll, I'll probably wear it some next week since we made it to the Sweet 16 by a huge win over Duke. I think Duke was one of the hottest teams coming into the tournament. And... Uh, and my ball since February, uh, after losing Ziegler, has been up and down. Uh, not been able to put any type of winning streak alive. They've beaten some great teams, and they lost to some mediocre teams. So I really wasn't expecting them to beat Duke. It was as hot as Duke has been. So great win to uh, my Tennessee Vols. Uh, shout out to Rick Barnes and the job that he's doing there. We'll, we'll see what happens in Sweet 16. I think it's all icing on the cake. I don't have high expectations for them. So I did really want, I didn't think they'd beat Duke. I didn't think they'd make it to the Sweet 16. So really anything now is just, you know, a bonus in my opinion. So we'll see. Now, Ed Ziegler's still been there and they were playing like they were prior to him getting hurt maybe but yeah we'll see they're, they're very inconsistent so all right well let's see what's consistent tonight because tonight's matchup is oh wow turkey gobble gobble kentucky spirit single barrel so this is basically this is a store pick though but the kentucky spirit is basically a um, just a single barrel version of your regular wild turkey 101 which is obviously a big batch because um, this is also 101 proof uh, wild turkey kentucky spirit 101 proof so um that's going up against chattanooga whiskey bottled and bond so obviously 100 proof this is the uh spring 2018 uh version so i'm not gonna go into much more than that all right we'll jump right into the whiskeys remember stay hydrated my friends Ooh. all right but just like there's been some big upsets in uh, mass madness there's obviously been some big upsets with what princeton and um uh, whatever that other school with a 16 seed that uh who did they beat let's see virginia was the first one to lose as a number one seed and then who was it this time i done forgot uh Oh, was it Arizona? I don't remember. I keep up more with Mash Madness than I do Marsh Madness except for my balls. So, anyways, let's dive right into it. Remember, as always, don't pay attention to what glass is behind or near which bottle. Uh, it's real relevant. These have been mixed up, uh, rearranged, shuffled, using a very high-tech, sophisticated, dangerous, proprietary process approved by NASA yo haha -ha, that's a bunch of bullshit bottom line is I don't know what's in what glass Q get away from that tripod come here Q you wanna come be on camera come here meow come here you haven't been on for a while you're gonna to have to make an appearance for the sweet 16 you want to come up now all right if you do uh, you're welcome all right, so bottom line is, let's get to the whiskey. Maybe Q come up here, I don't know. I definitely, uh, there's a maltiness to this. There's some honey. Yeah, malt, honey, vanilla, caramel, chocolate, orange, cherry, but definitely malt. Definitely get that maltiness. Q, stay away from the tripod. All right, cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I get that maltiness. I get orange, cherry, vanilla, caramel, a little black pepper and baking spice. Pretty damn good. Um, very well balanced. Uh, has some decent complexity to it. Uh, both of these are, like I said, 100 and 101 proof. So, a decent hug for that proof. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I like that. Some more of that chocolate coming off on there. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. Got a little bit of mintiness on it this time around. All right, let's go to whiskey number two. Mm. I mean, more traditional bourbon note on this. It's definitely got, I mean, there's some oak presence on this too, but vanilla, caramel, toffee. Comes off slightly higher proof on the nose. Mm. Also, some chocolate. Mm. That to me, more uh, corn forward than malt forward. I think for me, um, my simplistic palate, I think I tend to like this better on the nose. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mmm. Man. That's really weird. I got a lot of mint on that. But then that chocolate, vanilla, caramel, toffee. Yeah, more corn forward, sweeter. Less on the barley. We'll run it back, but I think I like number two better. I mean, number one is fine on the nose. I actually like it. I just think it's a little less traditional bourbon than the second one. Yeah. But to me, this is just comes off a little bit richer, a little bit darker, slightly higher proof. All right, cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. Man, I don't remember that before. I definitely get some mint on that, but then I get that toffee, that caramel, vanilla, chocolate. Yeah, De really decent, above average mouthfeel, good hug. Very well balanced. I like that a lot. I think we're... Well, if something happens here, I think it's going to be number two. What are you doing, Q? Yeah. I mean... These always get tough as the rounds... As we go deeper in the rounds. I think on their own, both are great both or a buy but head to head we're going number two is number one and hey at this point now's the time if you haven't done so please subscribe it helps the channel out we greatly appreciate it uh, and then do yourself a favor ring that bell for notifications that way you don't miss a damn thing here on barber and clothes because we're taking a trip on wednesday to pick up a unicorn bottle and we'll be sharing that. So you will you don't want to miss that. I promise you. I ain't going to miss it. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithms get it out to more people. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of both. About the Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. The Chattanooga Bottled and Bond. I think again both on their own. Are great. Both are a buy. But this ain't about that. This is about head to head. Who's the better whiskey? All right, well, let's reveal the results. So, really? Did not see that coming. Huh. It was weird. 
All right, so the winner is Chattanooga Bottle to Bond takes down Wild Turkey. Gobble, gobble. I did not see that coming. Hmm. All right, well, now that we know what they are, I mean, granted, I like both these brands. Obviously, I love Chattanooga wearing the Chattanooga hat, um, but I love Wild Turkey. And now that we know what they are, let's see if we concur. Doesn't matter, but it's always interesting to see if I question my judgment or if I stand by it. So, man, that does not come off as wild turkey. Now, granted, it is a single barrel, it's a store pick. Like I said before, these are both freaking fantastic. This is a store pick from Christie's. Shout out to Saving Patel. Okay. Yeah, I still like the nose better on the Chattanooga. But they're close. They're very close on the nose. And they, they were, well, they were completely different on the palate and close, just depending on, I mean, I easily could have went the other way on a different day, I think. But cheers, Bourbon Quest. This is the uh, Loser Wild Turkey uh, Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel 101. I mean that's really really good and I definitely get that that mint that chocolate like York peppermint patty unlike most other wild turkey products I've had again on its own freaking fantastic but head to head mm, yeah I like the nose better there's some richer flavors on that cheers bourbon quest I stand by that. I mean, there's, I got, uh, this time I got around some more oak. I definitely got toffee, chocolate, vanilla, caramel. Really good mouthfeel. I think very well balanced. More complex than the wild turkey. So, yeah, I actually, I stand behind what I chose blind. So, yeah, it was, um, Moving on to the Sweet 16, Chattanooga Whiskey, Bottled and Bond. And, I mean, Tim does a great job. I mean, obviously, so does, uh, I'm getting this right. I always get those confused. Jimmy and Eddie Russell from Wild Turkey. I mean, this is in Saving Patel at my local liquor store at Christie's. This is still one of my favorite bottles. I need to get another one of these for sure. All right, that's a wrap. I'm beginning to ramble. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What's your experience with these products? Uh, always interested in those. Um, is your mash madness bracket been blown? I'm working on it. Uh, I got a guy that's supposed to hopefully the next two to four weeks start helping me with the channel so we can uh, do more editing, do more like B-roll footage, hopefully do start some live streams. Um, I just haven't been able to do it on my own because I work incredibly too much as well as try to bring you as much content as possible. But I hope you appreciate what we're, what we're doing and that's why you should subscribe and help the channel out. Uh, we, we, we'll continue to strive to get better. Uh, but we'll always put out a ton of content. I promise you that. All right, that's a wrap, yo. Uh, Chatting is on to the Sweet 16. Wild Turkey, Kentucky Spirit goes down. <laughs> Another blood blood. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Hey, and before we end this video, just remember, as always, that my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. <laughs> that's a wrap, yo. Ah, out. Again, I would have picked it the other way if I wasn't doing the blonde. Bam.